Good evening, everyone. You know, for a while today, it looked like two popular ice rinks in the tri-state faced the possibility of closing because of air quality. That would be a big blow for ice skaters, hockey players, all who have the option that are really limited right now. But in a manner of speaking, the air, I guess, has cleared. Local pro's Brad Underwood is in Evendale to explain. Brad? Well, hi, Brad. You know, since the closing of the Cincinnati Gardens, there's only a few uh, ice rinks in the area for skating, for youth and adult hockey, and they're all here in Evendale. Now, here at Northland, there are multiple carbon monoxide testing devices. They work. This rink is safe. The air is good, and they're going to work with the village to make sure that that continues. Carbon monoxide emissions coming from Zambonis and other edging equipment at an Evendale ice skating rink recently raised concerns with the village administration. The past two years we've had more than six runs to the facilities where they may not have started out as carbon monoxide runs, but carbon monoxide issues occurred or were evident once we got there. Those were made at Sports Plus. Over at Northland, no such runs were made. But the fire department began looking into how other states and other skating associations regulate air quality levels and recently introduced an ordinance. You know, I mean, we were panicking. You know, we, we had to hire some counsel to read through the thing. Rich Sturm is one of the owners at Northland Ice Rink. His initial reaction was shared by thousands that used the rinks for ice sports. Many of them showed up at tonight's council meeting where a second read of the ordinance was to take place as an emergency. The emergency part didn't happen. A compromise was reached hours prior, and all parties will sit down and work out agreeable guidelines for testing. I feel safe. I feel my son is safe, but I understand that there have to be rules and regulations, and we want everyone to feel safe and abide by the rules. Both parties realized that they needed to come to the middle and meet on it and, and decide together, like, okay, we can work on this, come up with a solution, keep the rinks open. The parties hope to come back to council by the summer with an ordinance of guidelines. Now, just down the road over at Sports Plus, they used to use those residential carbon monoxide detectors that you and I would have in our homes. They've recently switched to the model that Northland has here, the more industrial version. Now, they'll both look into the pricing of nitrogen level testing devices to uh, see which one's the best fit to install in both ice rink areas. Reporting live tonight in Evendale at Northland Ice Center, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Brad. You almost took a hit there, Brad. Stay safe out there. Thanks very much. Appreciate it.